Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley V. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with My First Wigs to bring you this beautiful glueless, yes, 100% glueless lace wig. We are going to be doing a beginner friendly install. And again, when I say glueless, I literally mean 100% glueless. Now this is no surprise when it comes to My First Wig. They literally have some of the best quality hair on the market it lasts and holds up super well they also have some of the best lace on the market as you guys can see this is glueless and you're gonna see exactly what I did to make it blue with my skin which is literally minimal just a foundation shade that was already my complexion and the lace is top tier to add the icing on the cake so I did go ahead and install this one for you guys but I just wanted to show you the end result before we get started so you guys know what we're working towards they even included a nice layer to this one which shows how much they pay attention to detail so you don't have like this thick bulky bob or stiff bob at all it's definitely high quality and i am in love super easy it's going to be like a literally five minute or less install cut the lace get to it so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the install okay ladies let's get right into it I'm going to put my wig on so you guys can see how amazing this one looks straight out of the box. Today we are working with my first wig and they sent over this Malaysian yakky textured angled wedge cut bob. She's absolutely gorgeous and I have her in a 12 inch. Here's a look at the hairline. Of course, she comes already pre-plucked and ready to go. You do not have to pluck out the hairline or tint the lace. And the icing on the cake is that we're not going to have to bond her down because she definitely fits glueless. I've showed you the back of the wig. Now I'm showing you guys the inside construction of the cap. You already know they included the elastic band for a little bit of extra grip. So for here, I am just pulling the wig back and I'm just going to go ahead and buff my foundation shade into the hairline. This is going to help the wig to look a little bit more camouflage. But you guys know I'm going to work it and make sure everything looks perfect along the way. Here I am cutting off the excess lace around the ear. This is a key step because of course you don't want the wig to overlap your ear. You want it to fit basically like a custom and snug fit around your ear which is exactly what we've achieved. You can also see here a good look at the hairline as well as the sideburns. Sideburns are definitely optional whether you are going to do baby hair or not. Here I am just removing all of the excess lace and you guys can see it's almost like melting away. It looks so good on my hairline and it blends so well before we even customize it that like I'm just so in awe. I'm going to take a foundation shade a shade or two darker than my complexion preferably in a cool tone and I'm just going to buff it along the hairline. We like a cool tone because we don't want the lace to ever look too red or too yellow or too brassy and here is a comparison of the lace versus my skin even without a lace tint it just melts so effortless. You can also notice how the wig sits on my hairline perfectly, which means we don't have to bond her down. She doesn't slide back. She doesn't lift. She fits like a glove. So that definitely is a bonus with this wig is that you'll be able to take her off and put her on as you please. If I did not mention, this is a 13 by 6 lace wig and she is, I believe, 160% density and it is air lace, which is like a new technology that I love so much. So now that the install process literally is done because we did not have to do anything, let's just play around and see what style we're going to come up with. Now this is a bob, so obviously we're going to wear a bob, but do we want it as the side part it came as? Do we want a deep side part? Do we want it as a center part? Today I think I'm just going to rock with what they provided, but I'm going to show you how it moves and you can like alter the parting to go a little bit more deeper or a little bit more up. Here I am doing the dynamic duo. If you follow me and you know my channel, you already know this is a key step in almost every installation that I do. I love to pair the wax stick with the electric hot comb and I do like to get my hot comb very, very hot. And I like to just go ahead and melt the lace down so that any volume around the parting space that's going to make the wig look too big, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out and just have it nice and smooth. Also canceling out any frizz that may happen, which this one wasn't frizzy at all, but you know, it's just a bonus that it's just nice and slick and sleek. From here, we're going to just go ahead and bump the hair. I want to make sure that even though this is a yakky texture, it gives like fresh press, fresh perm, super, super, super sleek. And I do want to bump it at the ends. And that's just an option because sometimes with bobs, you kind of want it to be blunt straight at the ends. And sometimes you want it to be a little bit more like cuffed or bumped as we like to call it. The bump gives more of a girl next door 
friendly look and of course when you have it like bone straight at the ends it's a lot more edgy i like the bump to start when i bond a wig down and of course as the bump drops it'll go straight and edgy all on its own and today i am using my baby list flat iron feel free to use a um heat protectant with yours this is going to preserve the like the longevity of your wig now i do want to say that one thing great about these wigs for my first wig is they do hold up and last a long time you guys know i switch out my wigs often so i don't have this issue because i like to switch them out so i don't wear them for too long and i kind of pull them out as needed but if you are someone who is a daily wearer of your wig, you can definitely count on this one lasting you a great, you know, amount of time, at least a year or even two, especially if you are washing it, conditioning it. It's a bonus if you're taking it off at night or, you know, switching out your wig for your gym wig when you work out. Just being mindful of, you know, taking care of it like you would take care of your natural hair. Here I'm tinting the lace and I'm just seeing what it would look like with one piece or one side back. Also seeing what it looks like if you make this the part a little bit more deep by just shifting it. I like the way it looked, but I prefer it like the way it naturally came because of the cut. Um, also, all of the product that we use, like that concealer, are in the description box. Again, I like it with one ear back, but this is just more of the traditional way to wear it. You can definitely add baby hair. I tried to keep it a little bit more neat and clean and professional today, but you guys already know I'm going to pull a little baby hair out. Um, also, I added some lip gloss, but you know what, Bob's, you really can't wear it lip gloss. But that's pretty much it. This one came out gorgeous, beautiful, sweet, and even easy, right? Okay, ladies, we are done with this look. Made it super easy because it was 100% glueless. We didn't have to bond anything down at all. It's always a plus when a wig fits as glueless. It's even a bonus if it fits glueless and it blends with our complexion. Now, of course, we did add a little bit of foundation powder, but sometimes when you add your powder or your lace tint, it still gives a little something something. <laughs> special this one here was literally seamless it literally blends with my skin with no problem i love the parting so you didn't even see me go in and like switch up the parting like this is one that you can literally cut the lace off um and go because you don't have to do anything at all like i said all i did was add a little powder in the front just to put the icing on the cake and make it melt and then also just bumping the ends and we literally are good to go i also did add some concealer to the parting but as you guys can see it really didn't make a huge difference i like a lighter concealer or a lighter parting but it's definitely not necessary let me know in the comments do you prefer your parting to be like the exact color of your skin tone or to be just mildly highlighted a little bit um i'm trying to get into going a little bit more darker with my concealer powder but i don't know i just never it just never gives the way it gives like when it's like this color here so let me know your thoughts because i'm trying to the more mature i get get to the point of like using the same color that I use on the hairline and the parting so that it matches let me know we all know this one came from my first wig we already know this is a quality wig for beginners they have literally some of the best hair on the market and the cap construction is always always top tier you don't want a glueless wig that just doesn't fit glueless or that's going to um fit glueless on the first day but loosen up over time this is one of those ones that just suctions to your head in such a good way it's not too tight to where to give you a headache or it's uncomfortable but it also is not going to slip back like you need like a, um, what do you call those things? Those grip, grip bands or the wig grips. You don't need that at all. But of course, if that makes you more comfortable, you can definitely opt to purchase one of those. This was the packaging for our beautiful wig that we are wearing today. I don't know why I made that look so hard. It wasn't even that hard. And then inside, of course, this is the beautiful dust bag the wig came in. I went with the pink and the black for the dust bag also inside we got some goodies so in here we do have some of their i believe this is a deep conditioner yes it's called the buriti oil wig deep conditioner the only time i've ever heard of buriti is through them and this is actually really good to um go in and deep condition your wigs i think it's always good a good idea to treat your wigs so that the fact that they gave you two is amazing because if you want to um give it a good wash and condition before you put it on i think that's ideal and then um you know, after wearing it for some time, because this is one that doesn't require 
product you can definitely get away with wearing it for a few weeks before having to go in and do maintenance and like um washing your wigs but even if you have like a shampoo and conditioner that you already prefer to use it's a great idea to go in for a third step with a deep conditioner just like you're supposed to do with your natural hair just to preserve the quality and longevity of your units um especially when you're investing good money i always recommend you baby your wigs watch where you put them where you store them what shampoos and conditioners you use detangling the whole process just really 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 give it some extra tlc they also gave me the flyaway tamer which is like a um wax stick that you can use along the um parting or the hairline or whatever you choose it literally does what it says and just gets away gets rid of flyaways and like you know frizziness it also will like lay the hair down super flat and then they also gave this reusable zip pouch. It's really cute and I love this style. And then inside they did give two, some people call these crocodile kit clips and some people call them dolphin clips. I've always called them dolphin clips, but maybe it is more like a crocodile. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then also hiding in here is a little rat tail comb, which reminds you that this is from myfirstwigs.com. And again, quality wigs for beginners period also inside of the bag there was a pack of wig caps which is so weird i love the fact that they gave me a pack of brown ones because it matches my complexion but isn't it so weird seeing a black wig caps i feel like we've started off with the black wig caps at the very very beginning and now we only use like brown or skin tone but yeah they did give that and then also i wanted to mention to you guys that this is a yakky texture the length is 12 inches natural color it's a size one cap which is the smallest size um the cap could is 13 by 6 160 percent density and then the lace color is light brown so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check this wig out there is a direct link to her in the description box there you also find lists and links of everything we use to complete this look thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches